Okay, uh, all right, guys. Um, a quick one. Um, uh, this time there was a video I did yesterday on regarding to Vimis and um, updates. Um, this is a continuation. I quickly want to show us um, how to how to um, make use of the controller. And a quick one. Let me just quickly uh, do the setup and let me quickly show you how you can get the code. I can do the setup and all that. So watch with me. Let's see what it is so first of all you need to launch your uh, your vmix um, i'm currently using vmix 24 just in case you need it's available you can let me know and now uh once it's up the next thing to do okay i'm going to reload my programs now let's for example this is what we are working on right okay so now at this point what you just need to do um is to go to the setting put your setting um, bam, 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 bam. all right now once up all you need to do is to click on web con web controller now once you click on the web controller you see all this that this dialog will open right so now what we need is this web is this website address okay so this is the code we need and mind you uh when you are mind you when you are once you copy this code okay once and you put up your system and all that this code oh, all right this code changes all the time okay once you copy the code Maybe at another time you want to use it, the code will change. So the the code you use on the first time will not be the same code you are going to use the next time. Okay, so just get that the code will definitely going to change. So anytime you want to like make use of it, so just come here, copy the code, copy to your browser, and you open it, it will work fine. Alright. So now this option is saying allow access allow access to the following pages without login mistakes you have this you have this you have this you have this and you have this right all right so let's click on okay now i've copied the code so the next thing for us for us to do is to the next thing for us to do now is to send the code to a browser maybe let's Check this. Uh, you open your browser. Then the next that training. This training we're gonna. Then the next one. Just push, push, uh, push, push the code here. I click on enter. So once you click on enter, you don't see that you now have a control. This is the interface. This is what you see. Okay. So for us to let us see how it functions. So let's minimize this. Okay. Once you minimize this. Uh, check out this right all right so now that's the function so now I can you see how it from how it's working right yes so this are you can use your web browser on your laptop to control now um let's check on this let's check on different programs we have this one we we'll click on this one so you now find out that you have your output here this is your output which is which is this which is this this program here right so now if i click on video one this is the video one here this is the video one here if i click on video one video one please if i click on video two two play if i click on three two, play, two four and so on right so now, this uh, v1 is showing you this is video one this is video two video three stuff like that so now we also have uh, we also have uh, something like this uh, we have uh, uh we also have this title right so this title this is four right this is what it is this is this one before all the four are the titles which is this one this one is this number five the t6 is this one okay which is this okay so now 
the next thing to do is uh, if you want to use uh, if you want to use your system this particular system to do the running is fine but i would recommend i probably use another system or use another phone use a phone to to do the control but the best practice is using a phone to do the control and all that so the next thing we are going to do now haven't seen how it functions okay i will see how it functions uh the next thing for us to do the next thing for us to do is to send this code uh okay this is a preview one group is your preview so anything you put on preview that's what we're going to display okay these are the previews and all that these are the program on preview right so now this number one two three four is same thing as this number one two three four right one two three four anything you put on number one okay that's what's going to show up these are videos so these are the titles and all that so if i click on number four you see that it's already showing on the screen if i click on number five you see that from five showing on the screen from number six you see that it's already showing on the screen so if i use number two the same program you see this number at this number right okay now if i don't want to use the controller i click on number one here you see that number one has shown right okay on number one here number one here see that show right so now it's now let for you to know the particular option you're going with but i would recommend highly recommend you use your phone the flexibility is just there flexibility just to okay so what you do if you want to use your phone so the next thing for us to do if you want to use your a phone to do the control is what you just need to do so copy this code and send to your phone you can send to your phone okay let me quickly show us on how to use it on the phone so the next to do is uh next to do is to copy the code down to your phone so just click on this just copy and send two ways to send is that i send directly to your phone send to your device this is my device i'll send to my device and i will receive notification on my phone or you copy the code use your whatsapp send through your whatsapp this i normally do it send it to my whatsapp then i will receive the code okay i will receive the code on my phone so let me quickly show you uh that i have received the code on my phone so i will go through my phone the one I sent through a web, I think that has not shown. I've not received it, but let me go through my workshop. I think I'll receive it in my workshop. Okay, I'll receive it in my workshop. So this is now the code. So what you're going to do, copy the code, go to your browser. Now, paste the code here. You paste the code automatically it will now take you to this interface not take to this interface okay i've already okay i received it i'll receive this one okay it's not working i think um two things are involved is either the 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 network or the code has changed so let me quickly refresh and see if it will function if it doesn't function then i'll go and check the code and from the code i will know what's happening if the code has changed or it's a network problem okay i'm not receiving it let me try to change my network uh, let me check my network network I'm using. Okay, I'm using my personal phone network. Let me switch this. Let me try. Okay. Now let's check. Let me try another thing. I mean, let me, let me try another thing entirely. Uh, 
let me let me check the code if it's code if the code has changed we'll now go to the system and go to web controller this is 1.78.88 go to my phone check this is 1.6 1. 1. okay 1.192.1.0.168.0.178 port 88 controller i think it's correct let's try it again i think it's network if it happens like that it might be that the network is bad so the lab must have a strong network to have access okay connected on our network to another network so let's check all right i've told you okay you, you cannot see that it's a network problem right okay now i've successfully connected to my phone right all right why let me restore my phone let me restore my my system data my system network you must make sure you have you have a strong network the network is option is fine okay one well, in a minute i'm connecting to my network my system network uh, okay it's showing no network but well, let's check if it's working fine all right so now this point i want to check okay it's working it's working it's working so the best thing I can do now is to, me to use another phone to, to show you how it, to show you the functionality. So at this point, this is my system. You can see that. I just now do yesterday I did it, but let me quickly try to show you again. So this is actually my system. So you have a system, you have my system here, you have my phone. So now what happens are this is the controller to so that together or entirely. So now just like I explained before, I don't want to explain this again. So now, if I click on, if I click on um, video yeah. one, see that video yeah. two. Bye. Click on video two, functionally fine. I click on three, three is fine. One to three, stuff like that. You see that? If I click on a program. I'm gonna click on uh, title. I have a title here. Yeah. My preview. So I'll put it on. Put on this thing. So now I don't need to put it on preview. I'll go back to V V1. Um, put it on this. Put it on four. Put it on four like this. So I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it that and all that so that's how you do it that's how you set it up and you can see now that it's absolutely working fine so quick one quick one okay the reason why it's not working because i'm on v2 v2 preview preview is v2 why output is v2 so it's not work so what i'm going to do is we change it so i'm going to change this program and want to do a quick thing setting one it's working right. Mange. white zoom and all that so so that's how it works so another thing we can actually do again another thing we can actually do is to come back to to setting here these are all the programs these are all the programs we have so so these are all the programs we have here and now if i if i come here here at programs if i come to title another beautiful thing i want to show us is something like this very very important now this title we can actually edit this title we can actually edit this title on my phone so i can come here and say okay this title um ticker i want to change the program up okay probably let's say first for um uh, the t4 i want to change it maybe probably um Right, this t4 i want to edit this name right now what i'm going to do i'm going to i can do that on my phone and i can still do it on my on the system but let me try let me teach you how to use it on phone so it's a very simple thing uh what you just do okay this is a uh, title element title element which is t4 okay i will just come here and double tap 
you see the power sacrifice which is the same thing as the power sacrifice so very probably i want to edit it i can come here and clean this let's see uh the let's say uh mm, the power to get wealth part one part one okay this is the message title right so i can try this you can see message title or that's title so once i click on update here you can see that it's, uh, it's sorry it's, it, it immediately updated on the system right all right so now that's how it works that is how it works absolutely okay so now we've done that okay let's go back to t to again let me say it to the red okay who is the minister maybe this is uh maybe pastor um I say pastor wally okay omar omar stuff like this ministry right so once i click on this is what we have let's change it back so this is what we have here before right on this on the on the lap so once i click on updates you can see it has updated on the system so you can actually just use your phone originally to do to do the typing blah 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 and all that is on the title want to maybe probably want to edit and all that so if i just click on updates and i come back to my system and i click on this you don't see that those things i type to my phone here is already showing on the system so it's very very simple and efficient for us to do so now what you should note what you note is um you um, have to copy the code let me quickly go back there again to recap go back to setting go back to web controller this you see that so now with this thing now okay once i close this system i reopen it again this code will change so don't you will not you will not be able to use the first code that you use originally so please kindly know that so apart from that i think uh apart from that i don't think i don't think we have another thing else those are just the major thing the major things you are supposed to know regarding the the web controller and all that so copy the right code don't try try not to copy one after the other or to type it i will already you can type it as fine you, to copy the you type the type the exact uh, character is very fine but if you can't but you can just copy to your whatsapp and maybe you can just send it through your web uh, through, through web or web, which means you want to send it and but make sure the code if the code is not correct it's not going to work so copy the right code or test type the right code and it works fine so that just in that the updates on this web controller and all that so if you have any question if you have any issues regarding to this effect so kindly let me know i will still put us through okay thank you very much